Hi, I'm Kevin and I'm going to be doing a quick video demonstrating how to create quick call libraries, which is part of the quick call features going in iTest 4.0. As you can see, I have a session profile, which is just a mail session, although this is available to any session type practically. So if you go to create quick call library, it'll create a nice little quick call library for us, which is just a test case. As you can see, it populates this field nicely for us, tells us what the library is. It'll also in the general page, which is where these properties get set, it'll say, hey, I'm a quick call library, and it'll also set the session profile and device appropriately. Now, what's a quick call library? Excellent question. A quick call library is basically just a procedure library. So in this case, it can be a bunch of procedures that I want to associate with this particular session profile. So since this is a mail session, I'll make a very, very easy one called subject in two. I want to list this as callable so that I can use it for my procedure. But in here, if I set the session to dollar session, it picks up the mail. And so subject in two, well, let's do pretty much what it sounds like. We'll set a subject and we'll set a two. So the first thing we'll do is define a description for this procedure so anyone using the library knows what it is. And we also want to set some arguments. So let's set a subject. Let's give it a default value and make it required. And we'll do the same thing with two. Make it real. Hopefully fake at fake.com isn't a real person, but I won't be sending them email anyway. And so I can just make my calls here pretty much as simple as I want them to be. And so this is going to do exactly what it says. It'll set the subject, oops, and it'll set it to whom the email is for. So that's a really, really simple procedure. And now when I have this session open, the person using this will have access to that procedure. I can also make slightly more complex ones. So I'm going to do something sneaky here. So if I set the session field, I'll do write email, and this is going to do a whole lot more than just write the subject in two, but the first thing I'll do is have it call subject in two. So you can actually use these to call other ones. Let's set these this to callable so I can use it. And let's create some arguments. I'm not going to bother giving descriptions here, but if you're writing this for other people, you really should give descriptions. But I have a short amount of time for this demo. And let's say body. So two and subject are already handled. Let's also do from. And let's set that to whom the email is from. And let's also ha make sure it writes the body. And so now I have something that will populate the email with a bunch of different factors. And so the re you'll notice that this is a library of procedures, but we want it to have a main procedure so we can test this as we're creating it. So I want to make sure that this works. So I'm going to do this. And let's just try using this fancy write email command. And so I can set a whole lot of things. Let's set the subject to hello, the from to fake guy the two to other fake guy and the body to this is an email and now I'll close the session and I'm going to place a breakpoint but now we can see while we're testing this this will open it stopped at a breakpoint now but if you look it set the from to fake guy the two to other fake guy the subject to hello and this is an email so that's a pretty simple procedure, but we can actually make it more complicated. We can actually embed some logic in there. So let's say I wanted to write this line three times. I could put this in a for loop, have it run three times. Really anything you can do in iTest you can have embedded in this procedure and then you can have it run. So if I were to run this again, you'll see that this is an email got written three times because I looped over the body three times. And that's how you develop quick call libraries. 
Uh, if you want to know more on using them, you should v view the video that we have on quick, call on quick Call Usage. But if you have any questions, feel free to consult our community forums. We're very helpful and glad to help. Thank you and have a great day.